Hey Michael, why are you running for the Animal Justice Party? You went to a private school, shouldn't you be going for the Liberal Party? Well, come on, I think there's other important issues, and there's plenty of things that are really important that other parties aren't working on, but we are. But Anthony Albanese is just going to win this elector anyway. You're such a small party, why would you even bother running? So even if I don't win, every vote that we get in Grainless sends a strong message that uh, animals, people, and the planet matter to them, and that if other parties want to either get our preferences in the future or get the votes of these voters, they have to do better for animals. They have to have more animal policies so that they can get elected next time. But your preferences just end up going to Greens and Labour, so why not work for Labour? I think we can do more to influence these big parties from externally applying external political pressure rather than working inside these parties where I think it will be harder to make a change in their policies. Hey everyone, Michael here. So I've realised that uh, I haven't really talked about the fact that I'm running for election uh, next week in the Australian federal election. I'm running for the electorate of Grainler in the House of Representatives, or the lower house. I'm running against the person who is the leader of the Labour Party, Anthony Albanese, and who may well become the next Prime Minister of Australia. So I wanted to talk a little bit about why I'm running for election um, at first glance, as you've seen in this little uh, skit I've done. By the way, let me know what you think. That's the first time I've done something like that. Why am I running for election? There's a couple of reasons. One is, as I've said, I think uh, just having someone in the Animal Justice Party running in that electorate, um, just, just being able to be part of, say, candidate forums, like the candidate forum I went to on Friday night, I can talk about animal issues that most other parties pretty much aren't going to ever mention. In addition, Having that option to vote for the Animal Justice Party means that every person who does vote for the Animal Justice Party sends a message to the bigger parties that animals matter to them, that you know the environment matters to them, and also people as well. The big parties receive that message because when after election day they see how many votes that we got and they go, oh, okay, so actually 10,000 people in my electorate care about animals, care about live export, care about you know factory farming. So they know that next time if they want to get the Animal Justice Party preferences or if they want to get the votes of those people, they really have to do better by animals. And that means throughout their term, hopefully, uh, throughout the election term, they are doing more and better animal policies. It also means that I can help support our Senate candidates uh, in the upper house of getting the best chance of being elected. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Australian political system, in the federal government, you have uh, lower house uh, representatives who represent a particular geographic area. Then you have the upper house representatives who represent the whole state. And you have six uh, representatives at a time per state or two for uh, each territory. So in the Australian political system, a little bit different to the US, where the upper house actually is easier for small parties to get elected than the lower house. So uh, our upper house candidates do have a chance of being elected. And they have been in New South Wales state government, in Victoria state government. We're hoping to get at least one during the federal election to be able to have someone in federal government to advocate for animals. So by having me campaigning in Grainler, which is Sydney's inner west, people are looking at Animal Justice Party messages, they are thinking about it, they see the Animal Justice Party name on the ballot. All this makes them more likely to vote for the Animal Justice Party in the upper house as well, where people from anywhere in the state can vote for the Animal Justice Party. Why am I running for the Animal Justice Party in the first place? Why not run for a bigger party? Uh, so people might not know this, but I actually did used to volunteer for the Greens. I was never a member of the Greens, but I did volunteer for them. Uh, and this was before I, I think this was before the Animal Justice Party had formed in South Australia. But when they did, uh, I, I looked into it a little bit, I was a little bit skeptical. Um, but I quickly realized that, oh, this is actually a party that I don't really disagree with anything on. Uh, so I figured I had to join that party and I had to, um, I had to become involved. Yeah, I think... Um, Animal Justice Party just hits all of all of my values, uh, all of my policy uh, issues that I care about. I think they're in the right on that. So that's why I'm running for the Animal Justice Party. Why am I running at all? Well, I just think this is a really good opportunity to make an impact and quite neglected as well. Uh, and I think um, being involved with a small party in Australia is um, much higher impact than people expect. So I'm really able to have a tangible difference on policies that get implemented in Australia. Some people say that the Animal Justice Party is a single issue party. I think it could not be further from the truth. I think we're actually the least single issue party and let me tell you why. So most parties only care primarily or only care about uh, one species of animal, which is humans. But non-human animals are actually the most numerous uh, population of animals in Australia. Uh, think about all the non-human animal species, whether it's wild animals, domesticated animals, farmed animals. Most parties only care about one really small set of animals. We care about all animals and we have policies on all animals. We don't just have animal policies, we do have um, policies and positions on our website about humans. Uh, so really I think we're the least um, single issue party. I mean, 
some people say, oh, because you you know you care about animals, that's a single issue. Well, you'd never tell the Liberal Party that they're a single issue party because they only care about one species of animal. I mean, I would, <laughs> but most people wouldn't say that. But then they come to us and say, oh, you're a single issue party. No, I don't think that's right. There are so many animal issues because animal abuse and animal exploitation is so ingrained in our society. It's, there are just so many ways that we use and abuse animals, whether it's uh, farmed animals, whether it's puppy farms, whether it's uh, animal testing, and so on, um, land clearing, etc., etc. So many different issues that you can't say that's a single issue party. You know, there's so many human issues and parties work on lots of different human issues and that you don't call them a single issue party. I, I, yeah, I think if we were the like, if we were the ban jumps racing party or something, and that was our one policy, we were, we were getting elected just to ban jumps racing. That's what a single issue party is. I don't even think we follow the definition of a single issue party. So lastly, I just want to do a quick call out to anyone voting in Australia in the next week. Please, please vote number one for Animal Justice Party and uh, use that opportunity to send a message that animals matter to you. Uh, and we may well yet get a, a member of the Animal Justice Party elected to the Senate. That would be just a game changer. That would be so good for animals. But remember as well that we're lucky to have this preferential voting system in Australia where you can vote one for the Animal Justice Party and then two for your preferred party after that and then th so on and so on. And your vote will never be wasted as long as you number uh, correctly and as long as you number every box. So let's say, for example, you really want one particular major party to win government over the other major party. So you're not sure if you should vote the Animal Justice Party. Great. Let me tell you, you can do both of those things. You can vote one for the Animal Justice Party to send that message. And then you just put one of the major parties, your preferred major party, ahead of the other major party. And you've done both things. So you can you can do both. And I think that's, uh, that's a really powerful way to make a difference with your vote. Even if your vote doesn't actually change the course of the election, you do still send that message. And there's other benefits. Like for every number one vote that we get, we get some money back. So this is my fifth time running for government in Australia. I've run for state government now twice, I've run for federal government now twice, and I've run for council once. So I think it's an opportunity for me to talk a little bit about the experience of running for a candidate and what's that like. If you've ever thought about being involved in politics, whether it's as a candidate or as a volunteer, I'd like to try and share a little bit about what that is like and maybe give you a sense of that so that you can make a decision about whether you'd like to run as a candidate in the future, uh, or if you'd like to be involved with a political party. And I'll try and keep that particular video pretty apolitical, as in not really, um, I'll try not to be biased towards like say the Animal Justice Party, uh, and instead focus on just talking about what the experience is of me running as a candidate in a small party. So if you wanna see that video, then subscribe, click the bell icon and stick around.